So day three at the Leith Agency. Um, today was more transcribing, which was fine. I feel like I found my feet with transcribing a little bit. I know what's expected and I now know kind of when they expect me to have it done by, which is quite good. Um, so it was a bit of a longer file than the one I had to do on Monday and you know you do end up getting so annoyed with yourself that you can't hear the same bits over and over again. Um, so there were a few breaks just to kind of clear my ears I suppose you could say. Um, which was fine, um, got got through in the end. Um, I went along to a qual data meeting that Leona, another associate planner, was uh, holding today, which was really interesting actually. Um, she was emphasising that, you know, most people in the team don't know how to do um, statistics and kind of analysing those statistics um, in a way that they would normally outsource to Blonde, I think they said they normally go to. Um, but actually there are some really simple equations that members of the planning team should be able to do in order to um, not need to outsource, make it a lot easier for clients to understand um, the data that you're trying to, to tell them, I suppose. And it just speeds the whole process up quite a lot. Um, so it's interesting to hear that. I didn't actually realise that they would outsource for that kind of thing. I thought that somebody like Leona, a qual specialist, would just get it done within the agency itself and it would be kind of like a holistic approach to the entire um to the entire campaign but no it turns out not um so yeah she also said that she would quite like to teach the rest of the team how to do it and maybe on a weekly basis um hold kind of hour long sessions with them over lunches or uh, whenever they had a free minute uh, which was really nice and I think that that would also contribute to kind of team bonding as well. There were a few people in the team who did not seem very keen about having to learn maths again. Um, but I think there were more than one so they were all kind of in it together. I'm actually a little bit sad that I'm not going to be there to be able to see what it's like. Um, but still, really good idea. Um, so yeah, I went back through um, after that and was doing more transcribing, had my earphones in, um, so that was absolutely fine. Um, although at one point, um, everybody stood up and started clapping and I had absolutely no idea why. Um, and it turns out that Leith had just won lots of awards, two golds I think, at the Grand Prix um, at the IPM awards. So that was why everybody was so happy. Um, it was kind of embarrassing though I had to ask Thea, one of the other planners, what on earth was going on and she didn't actually know to begin with so I started off a bit of a chain of what on earth is going on but um, still it was nice to know that I wasn't the only one who was not in the loop. Um, so in the afternoon I met with Fiona, Fiona Burton who is an account exec, well account director now I think. Um, I met her on Monday and she was really, really friendly and asked me if I wanted to come along to a meeting with Dobby's, um, the garden centre company, uh, talking about um, the kind of breakdown of the costs for adverts that um, they'd given them and how much they were getting on return and lots of spreadsheet type stuff, but stuff I've never done before, so it was really, really interesting. Um, and I didn't realise quite how big a budget they had to work with. I knew that there were big budgets involved in advertising, but my goodness, Dobby's, the garden centre, I had no idea that they would have that much to spend. Um, so that was a little bit shocking, but fantastic. Um, so sitting in on the call, um, Ollie, one of the other accounts people came in, um, just at the point where one of the people from Dobby's was actually getting quite angry because one of the statistics had been put in wrong. It was a target that had been put in far, far too high and obviously they'd not been able to make that target because it was entirely unrealistic. So everybody was trying to get to the bottom of who had actually um, estimated that initial target. Um, so it was interesting to see how professionalism can crack sometimes, even if it's over a phone. Um, and also, I mean, Fiona and Ollie were just absolute pictures of professionalism. They were brilliant, really took the situation into their own hands and uh, made it positive for everyone by the end. So that was really interesting. 
And um, at the end of the day, I spoke a bit to Michael. He was telling me about um, his, I think, sister-in-law who's trying to get into marketing and has a job with Calla Homes at the moment. So it was quite nice to see that people who are you know, quite happy with their position in a good advertising job, do appreciate how hard it is sometimes to get to that point. Um, and I did get a feeling from him that, you know, he was quite empathetic. I don't quite know if it was hard for him to get his job, but um, it's good to know that there are people around him that make him understand what it is that people like me are kind of going through. So that was good. Um, so yeah, again, I didn't feel that... I had much to do today. It was great to go along to these meetings and I'd love to do a bit more of that, but I just feel that I don't want to get into the territory of asking to go along to everything. I mean, there's persistence and then there's just being downright annoying and I would never want to um, go over that line. So yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow um, there will be a bit more to do and Claire will be around a bit more. Um, Mike actually said that he would give me some work to do on a blog on dark marketing that he's doing for the Leith website. Everybody in each department does a little blog at points. Um, so that sounds interesting. I don't really know what it is. Um, I'm going to do some research tonight so I know what I'm dealing with tomorrow. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that will work out well and he'll feel like I've helped him out a bit. Um, and tomorrow I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and speak to Claire about maybe going along with her to a few more things. Um, I mean, I'm extremely appreciative of what she's given me, but it's not exactly what I wanted to write about in my dissertation. And as far as I'm concerned at this point, there just isn't enough really to write about um, for the topic that I want to. And I'm beginning to get a little bit worried that circumstances just might not allow for me to um, research as much stuff as I wanted to. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like it's more positive at the moment. Um, I'm knowing people a bit more, even saying hi to people going past them on the stairs and knowing who they are is nice and them knowing who I am, <laughs> which is lovely. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Goodbye.